eat all the pigs. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmasters vlog for the Warhammer 40,000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to painting guide number 34 of this vlog. In this installment we're gonna be doing Cataracty Terminators of the Word Bearers Legion. Uh, after some uh, uh, decision making I finally went, went with making these word bearers. Uh, I think uh, doing them as world eaters is simply not my style. I, I really don't like doing the white painting job. But yeah, so let's go into detail and check out what we have here at our disposal. Today it's the 16th of April 2016. So we have three Cataracty Terminators here at our disposal. I decided that I'm not sure which arms I'm going with, but either I'm going to give them a pair of lightning claws, as you can see here, or I'm going to give them each a uh, twin, twin link bolter. So we're, we're going to see where we're going to decide on that. Uh, here is also the head. Since they, these are word bears, I'm thinking about using these books, placing them on top of the armor like this. I'm thinking yeah, that could be a very cool prop to use. This is the sergeant guy, so you see he has no helmet on, and he has the power sword of this squad. And he also has these, um, is it rocket launcher or whatever they're called? I'm thinking about perhaps placing uh, some dead skeleton parts on top of his, behind like, behind like this. I'm uncertain, but I think I might be using these props, or I'm gonna use them for another terminator. I have five here at my disposal. This one is the same, also two lightning claws, not sure if I, which one I'm gonna use, but we'll see. And they get the helmets. Also got a book here. So, what we're gonna start out here is to paint the main armor. And for that we're gonna use Wasdaka Red, quite, quite simple. Then we're gonna be using Iron Breaker, and that's for all the metallics on the armor and the weapons and stuff like it. For the exception of the bases which they're standing upon, which we're going to be using Lead Belcher. And then, as you can see, there's these types of uh, old Roman robes or whatever on their armor. You also see it here on their arms. For that, we're going to be painting Shafted Bone. So, in a quick conclusion on what we're going to do here in this segment of the painting guide, was stuck a red on the main armor. Iron Breaker on their trimmings and metallics and their weapons. Lead Belcher on the bases which they're standing upon, because I'm going for a space based theme for my bases of this army, so that's why they're gonna be standing on metallics. And then a shafty bone on the small things on their arms. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's called, main cloth or whatever. Now you know what we're gonna do for the next step, see you all in the next episode. See you in the next step, everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to step 2 of this painting guide. Today it is the 13th of June 2016 and let's go into detail and check out what we have been doing with the models so far. I can point out right now that I accidentally noticed that I have two of the same type of shoulder pads. So in between this uh, and the next part I will have to change one of them so we can get the correct shoulder pad on the correct arm. Also, as you can see, I missed a little bit of silver here on the trimmings, but I will get that fixed before the next part, so we get uh, that out of the way. Overall, I'm quite pleased with the results so far. Uh, I think for this one, I'm actually gonna go with the the both claws it, it fits more with posing so we're gonna remove this gun and place it on the one of my other two remaining terminators which I have yet to use in this uh, uh, painting guide but we will see them in the, in the last step I, I imagine 
So, uh, in a, a quick con so what we're gonna do here in this step is first of all we're gonna be painting up their eye lenses of the helmets. And for that we're gonna be using mud green. Then we're gonna be using Abaddon black. That's mostly to paint. If we look here closer, the areas of the guns which are still unpainted and the shoulder pads so they fit in with the rest of the war bearers of my traitor force um, during the Horus Heresy. Then we're gonna be using Mornfang Brown and that's to paint up the sword as you can see here, the hilt where he's holding it. We're also gonna be painting it on this small thing on his base as you can see here as a foundation. Then we're gonna be using Kislev Flesh and that's mostly to paint up the skin of this bare-headed helmet for the sergeant. Then we're gonna be using Lofen Blue and that's to paint up uh, this small area as you can see here. I'm thinking about making it look like it's a plasma burn or it's something like that during their boarding parties. And as you can see I also have this small helmet here. Okay, then we're gonna place it here and to give it a more bloody effect we're gonna be using Evason Scarlet to paint up like it's a whole blood bloody mess there. Uh, yeah, and also you might have noticed I removed the, um, the books which I had uh, in the previous part thought about using. Instead I'm actually gonna use them for my dreadnoughts. I think they're more fitting over there. But uh, I think I might return to adding some scenery and stuff like that still. Uh, I'm still uncertain what I'm gonna be using. So we will see in the next episode what I'm going with that. But anyway, so in a quick conclusion on what we're gonna do for the next step is Moot Green on their eye lenses. Abaddon black on their on their weapons and shoulder pads and certain other areas. Mornfang brown as a foundation on the hilt of the sword and for the base part here. Kislev flesh on the skin tone for his bare head. Lord and blue on the base, which you can see here for plasma damage. And then Evil Sun's scarlet as uh, blood effects. Now you know what we're gonna do for the next step, so see you all in the next step everyone.